Sanda Wana, Yellow Nation, uh, we back again. The Yellow Corner is back to preview our second leg MTN 8 semi final against Abafana West 10 on Tuesday night. And tonight we join, or today rather, we, we joined by the only Mulefe that knows ball. Uh, he's not related <laughs> to the other two guys, to the other two Mulefe <laughs> uh, brothers. So, yeah, as uh, popularly known as Secret on the Twitter streets. Koketo Mulefe, how are you? I'm good, Tabisa. How are you? Nah, man. Uh, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. After all, I support the best team in the land. So, yeah, you 90% of the time, uh, you, you, you're you good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. I know, team, we are happy. We are happy this season. Uh, <laughs> I actually think uh, we, we should take uh, that thing, yeah, Pirates, yeah, the happy people. I actually think we're the only happy people in this country, if we've been honest, eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> they don't deserve that title. You know what? It should, it should circulate. It's our title now. It's been close to a decade now. We're dominating everything. It's us. It's yeah. We are happy people. <laughs> and I'm also joined by my partner in crime, Rappel Ankachisomutu, Eita. I'm not. I agree. I guess I'm going to get a beep. 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 I'm going to get a <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, let's get on to it, guys. Uh, let's get into this preview of our second leg against uh, uh, Golden Arrows. Uh, let's firstly touch on uh, how we played in the first leg, where we totally dominated uh, the, 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 the game. We had, uh, at some stage, I think we had over 90% yeah, ball possession on the day, man. And they just sat back and you know, sound like arrows, man. Uh, do you think uh, they will set up differently in the second leg, uh, Kukis? Um, I think I think they should. They have no choice because one factor here is the away goal that we have. Uh, they really need to score. And uh, if they don't, they're out. They know this. So... They need to set up differently. They need to chase the ball. One thing's for sure that we're not going give, to give it to them. They need to come at us because we are a ball position team. They will have to come for the ball. And, yeah, they will have to press us. They will have to come out of the, the area they were playing in the first leg. So they need to come out and, and chase the ball and get the goal. They need the goal. That, that's the thing. So they need to set up differently. They have no choice. Mm, true, true. When Arabs, yeah, no, I, I agree with Koki. So, like, already uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, away goal uh, advantage is already favoring us, and also they have nothing to lose. They, they will throw everything at Mamlu Sanders because of they know that uh, Mamlu Sanders already uh, uh, have the advantage, and also the, the, the approach has to be different. They have to, to, to go all out and try to to get an away goal or, or maybe get a, a two goals. But I think uh, it will work for us because of they'll push a lot of numbers forward and also they will leave, uh, they, they leave uh, spaces at the back. So I think Lohona, we need to, to manage the game very well. We shouldn't be a, a big headed that we have already we have already won the game. We should take uh, everything uh, uh, normal, like it's a, a, a one league game. Yeah, true, man. Um... The, the mere fact that uh, they need to score, uh, they have no, they have to score, uh, plays into our hands, man. It's perfect for us because uh, uh, the moment you, you you attack us and you leave uh, spaces, uh, we will definitely capitalize on that, you know, more especially with how we've been setting up in recent uh, uh, weeks in terms of uh, the number of forwards that we have going into games, you know, so I think this game will be perfect for us, man, that 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 late uh, away goal was was very crucial, you know. Mm. Uh, Aros's form since uh, the, the first leg hasn't been uh, good, man, they've played three, they've drawn, drawn all three, you know, and they've scored five 
conceding five goals as well. So they 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 they, they are not in great form. You know, they might play well, but they are not uh, uh, in good form because they haven't won. Because even our game against them was a draw. Uh, what's your take on that, Rappelang? Uh, their recent form. Look, I think uh, uh, CMA just joined the team and this is a totally different team compared to the team that Malzang Legacy left because of the, the, they've lost uh, key players in, who were playing in key positions as well. But coming to their recent uh, 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 performance, they, they, they are scoring uh, a lot of goals. They are, they, they are creating chances. They are still good uh, up front, but the, 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 the main problem is at the back. I think their their defense it is leaking. They're conceding a lot of goals. And also, uh, in the two previous games, I've seen that uh, the, the, the coach tried to, to, to change the defense. Uh, Zuke went to the to, to, to the back and uh, Matian was uh, on the bench. So, uh, I think Siama is trying to get the, 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 the right uh, partnership, go, go, go center backing. And uh, they also, they, they are committing uh, 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 silly mistakes, the, the schoolboy errors. But uh, uh, even though they are, they are making mistakes, this is a game where uh, they don't need to, to, to make any mistakes. They, they, they need to minimize their mistakes in order to win. Mm-hmm. Uh, Secret, your thoughts regarding uh, their recent form? Um, look, the, it's not too great. It's not. It's worrying, in fact, because this team, this season, seven games have conceded every game, right? So a plus to them is that they also score every game. You see, so. Um, their the form at the back, it's worrying because they're playing a free scoring style, which is normally We create chances, we score, we just, you know, we, we've been really taking this season. So, of, of recent games, right? So, for them, it's a bit worrying because at the back, they're just leaking. I think they've leaked 12 goals in seven games. So, it, it's a huge factor. Oh, it's, a, it's a huge, although they score every game, they just concede every game and they haven't won away from home. Mm, mm. Their, last, their last win was six games ago. They've gone five games without a win. They're just throwing three games, I think, and, and lost two. So they started well in the season. They beat Solos and they, and they won the first game of the season. Since then, there's been nothing. It was, so it, it, it's a huge worry for Sierra then. They haven't won in five games. And you know this thing of if you don't win games, you, you get used to it, the confidence goes down. So they desperately they desperately need to get out of that zone. They need a win. And um because they haven't won this season away, I think they will be looking to win away. They they have to they, they have no choice. For them to get a chance at progressing, they really need to figure something out. And I think they they will really need to look at because it's a cup game. You know cup games, it's a different story altogether. Mm. So yeah, so um uh, it, it, yeah, it, it it's really concerning for them. But yeah, we will we will see how how, how they come up against us. But yeah, it, it's it's worrying that they concede every game, although they score, but they just concede a lot of goals. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, everything, if we're being honest, is pointing at a sundowns win. Uh, the form, the fact that uh, we, we've been winning, the fact that we're not conceding, the fact that we now seem to have that 11 of 12 that that, that you show will, will start the game, you know. If uh, you know, Rapela will start, you know, the fact that uh, we, we we've reached i think five or six uh six or seven official games now and uh our our our, our fitness uh team and our coaches we saying we will start uh, 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 uh playing well after uh, that number of games and it's uh, prove it's it, it's showing now uh, everything is saying sundowns is going to the final but what is it that uh, uh can stop us reaching this final uh for another main thing is complacency. I think 
even Coach Manoba, when I watched his uh, press conference for this match, he mentioned or taking the opponents for granted uh, can 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 uh, in a way get us eliminated. You know, because we think we're no man, uh, we won't form. They are they are not uh, uh, really good at the moment, and we've scored an away goal or when then maybe a uh, complacency creeps in and then we end up uh, getting knocked out. For you, what's what's the one thing that we need to guard against when Ako gets going into this match? It's like you said, um, complacency. Because uh, as much as we are a confident side, I don't want us to become overconfident and, you know, big-headed coming into this. Because if you look at our form in the cup, we haven't won anything. We haven't won a game. We just went through in the penalties. Just two draws, we've conceded three game, three goals. So you can see the contrast between the league form and the cup form. In the league, we haven't conceded anything. But mm-hmm. then with the cup game, it's a totally different story. We've conceded both games. So I think uh, we should guard against conceding very easy, like we did in the first leg, you saw how difficult it was to score, even though the conditions were difficult. But we need to guard against conceding. Because this is a very it's a very tricky arrow side. It's a it's a it's a, it's a team that uh, we shouldn't underestimate. You see? So we should we should guard against uh, we should we should make sure that at least we get our first clean sheet in this tournament. That we don't have a clean sheet. So we, we should make sure that uh, the side Yala K is worrying for me because a lot of goals to arrows this season come from their right side. They will be obviously attacking that lucky side crosses in from our left side. That is the worrying factor for me. If we if we manage that, and I think we will be fine. So we should and- we should guard against that consistency. Yeah. Okay. The thing, when you mentioned this thing, yeah, side like, yeah, like hey, uh, uh, being the side that you worried about, the th- the the, the, th- the another thing is that now we can't expect him not to go forward because I think uh, Grant is the one who's more, most likely to to stay. You know, so now it's worrying if uh, uh, we have two full backs not going uh, 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 forward. You know, so yeah, like you saying, well, we really need to. Be smart, man. Always make sure you no know, there's enough cover on his side, you know. I think I think um we cannot expect like him not to go forward. To, it's our game to, where, mm. where um a lot of our goals come from his side. Mm. So he is so key in us moving forward, he's so key in our attacking patterns that he has three assists this season already. Mm. The last one coming yesterday with the Shadulile and we cannot just say sit back. No, we can't. So we should just uh, make sure that we offer him enough protection to say, you know what, we have the freedom of going forward. But you know what, at the back as well, um, you are covered. You're fine. You need to make sure that that side is sorted because when you look at how Golden Hours play, they'll probably have Pule Modi on that side. Mm-hmm. Pule Modi, he will work tirelessly on that side. And it is very tricky for us when, because there, a lot of their goals come from their, that side. Yeah, like, so, yeah, that, that's what we should guard against. And, yeah, because it's, it's a one strong point for them. Their right wing play is so important mm-hmm. for them. So, yeah, we, do, we really need to sort it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think we have the best technical team in the country on the continent you have the best analysts so I think they would check out mm-hmm. perhaps uh, when I thought uh, what do you think can uh, uh, cost us and uh, actually uh, have us uh, get eliminated I think coming to this game with the wrong attitude that you have already won or you have an advantage uh, uh, that it, 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 
it is working for you. I think we should go out and, and get a win. We shouldn't uh, 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 try to get a goal, a goal less draw because of that means uh, we are going to be very negative in terms of our uh, our approach and we'll invite a, a, a golden arrows to come at us and create a lot of chances. So we should take the game to them and try to, 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 to score as many goals as we can. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, no. Uh, attitude going into the this game is more actually more important than anything for me. Hey, but uh, like we said, I don't think uh, uh, our our technical team will allow the boys to take their foot off the pedal. You know, uh, you know, it sundowns if uh, you slip off. Uh, uh, there's always someone waiting to 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 capitalize on on, on you uh, not using uh, your opportunity guys we coming from we're going into this game coming from a huge win a great win uh, not just the score but how we played as well you know and against a team that uh, uh, is uh, expected to always uh, compete with us for the league uh, what impact do you guys think uh, or, uh, this win against pirates will have uh, going into this game, I'll start with you, Raps. Look, I think, uh, first of all, the, the, the morale boost. I think the, the, this, this game that we just won against Orlando Pirates has boosted the, the, the confidence as well. And also, uh, if, the more you win, the more the, 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 the confidence gets high, the more uh, the, the, the boys uh, uh, improve. And also, uh, we know that. Uh, winning the winning the, the games in the league it is more of a, of a priority so I think this game was, was very crucial and we know that when you go to the competition games you'd want to win your, 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 your previous game so that you go to the game with the, 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 the right mindset mm. Your thoughts Kiko Gezo? Um, the, the impact of this result is huge because Pirates is the team that we expect to challenge us for the league this season. So uh, it was a clean performance. The confidence is high. Onyango, we saw the very best of Onyango in that game. <laughs> Even though we say we dominated, but there were chances where Pirates gets one and then he come back. True. So confidence is high. Uh, Shabili, he, he's getting heated up. I think it was his fourth goal, or third, fourth, I think fourth. So the confidence there is high because we're scoring goals, we're keeping clean sheets. It's, it's, it's very good for Jali as well. Yeah. To get a man of the match um, in that game, his confidence as well. Riva, on the other hand, has three men of the matches this season alone. So, the, uh, and he played well in Orlando. Mm. So it's, 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 it's very good for the club that we won our way at Orlando. It's a very, it's a very tough ground to, to just go there and just win. Although we've been winning of late. So uh, uh, with, with regards to Abo Olibus and Oshin, another clean sheet for them away from home against people like Abo Mabas. Mm-hmm. Snipers, the, one of the best finishers in the league. They kept the clean sheet. So it's a very important confidence booster for us. Because it tells us now you can keep a clean sheet away in Orlando. You get a clean sheet against Oras Arrows this season, the, this coming game. Are you done? You're done, you move to the final. So the, the confidence is high, but we should guard against getting big headed because we, we just stretched. Pirates, like we just dominated them. Let, let me not say thrice, but we just dominated them. So the confidence is high, and it's very good for us as a team going into the second league. Mm, true, true. Winning such games is uh, it's not only about the results, man. It's uh, a lot of uh, things, you know. The, the the positive energy in the in the camp, you know, everyone is happy. The supporters are happy. The the players are happy. The technical team is happy. You know, it gives everyone uh, that 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 boost. You know, uh, guys, what do we need to do to make sure we uh, uh, make it to the final? I think uh, I'll start. Uh, I think the main thing for Nagore, we don't let this go. This game go deep uh, 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 with the score still in need, you know, going to the 70th 
uh, uh, close to the 80th minute with the score still nil nil. You know, yes, our players are experienced and all that, but if a game, the game is cagey and it's still nil nil, it's and the the, the the clock is ticking. I mean, yes, nil nil suits us, but if it's the 80th minute, you think or oh, if they get a goal now, we must score. We we must score a a a a or so. I think I think scoring early. In this match, uh, we settle our nerves, and then it will now mean or uh, they will come more at us by so doing. Like we said, they open up uh, spaces, and you can't afford to do that against Sundowns. I think we also we another thing is we need to starve them off the ball like we did in the in the first leg. You know, I mean, uh, uh, at some point. I thought Siema would ask the fourth official to give them permission to throw in another ball into the field so that they can at least have a touch of it because they you know, they just couldn't get uh, anywhere near us. So uh, stuff them off the ball and they take our chances. Uh, Coach Manoba was saying or he's not happy with our conversion rate, which is for him is uh, between 30 and 35 percent uh, right now. So take our chances and he. He said, even though we're not uh, creating a, a lot of clear cut chances, we should be uh, taking uh, uh, the ones that we, we 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 create, you know. And I think uh, the final point for me is that uh, the decision making on on Tuesday it needs to be on point, you know. Uh, that 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 the weight of pass it needs to be perfect because with ours, if the weight of pass, uh, you look at the, the the chance that we had. Yeah, good. Where he wanted to uh, slip the ball to Grant, I think. Yes, the, the, the field uh, was not uh, at its best, uh, deliberately so. If you do that against a, a team like Arrows, who are so good in transition, like Pirates, you already you trying you have a good to trying to pass Grant, meaning both of them are now out of position. If the opponents or as the opponents win the ball. That can, can can hurt us, Wabo. And then another thing, as, as I'm talking about a great decision making, that chance that could had in the sixth minute against Pirates, where he took a shot, and you could hear uh, Coach Ulani saying two 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 touches. Uh, you guys, my, I'm sure you watched Kaka. He used to specialize in that uh, in those a situation whereby his first touch. It put him in a great position and it accelerate to in a way out. Uh, uh, it eliminates the, the opponents and one that first touch would give him a huge advantage. Second touch, he scores. Wow, so a uh, great decision making would uh, 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 decision making needs to be on point. Uh, when I think it, I think we should not overthink everything. We should not overthink in. The ball is literally in, so we should we should put up the way we set up. We should be dominant on the ball. We should keep the ball. They need to come at us. We don't need to do anything special. We need they need to come at us. But we should not be complacent and say we have the goal. Now we rest. We should go out there and try to get uh, the first goal of that match. We should we should go out there and say you know what it's our home ground. We need to win this particular fixture. So um, it's important for us to go to the final because we have new guys coming. The culture of winning trophies needs to go on and on and on. So um, it's important for 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 them to to know that this is your this is one game that takes you to the final. So you need to keep it clean. Um, I mean, I, I want. I want us to keep our first clean sheet this tournament because we've conceded three goals, which I think for me is, is just is just too much. So I need I need that back four to just keep it tight at the back. We need to cut those courses, like I've said. We need to make sure that Modi is is silent. So because they have with arrows, I think they have scored twelve goals this season. With I don't know about. Nine, eight different goal scorers. So their goals are literally coming from any every level. So we have Noxmo, Tiza, Gumet, and Saber two goals each this season. And the rest are shared amongst the other players. So we need to guard again because they literally score from anywhere. 
Yeah, so we need to we need to make sure that we don't expose ourselves. We keep the shape. We keep it tight. We keep the ball. Uh, we knock it around, and then they will they will be they will be open as as the game goes on. But we we need we we should not go into this game and say we have the away goal. We mm-hmm. don't have to do anything special yeah, because you may find that okay, Sha, they score first half, second half we need a goal. We don't want that, mm-hmm. and what we should avoid again is going to the penalty. We know how that goes. Um, like, so we really need to avoid that, and then just try to end this game within 90 minutes. Um, so, yeah, just let's let's not be complacent. Keep it clean, keep it tight, and then let's not overthink and be big headed with this. Let's just do what we've been doing in the league, and I think we should be fine. True, true, man. Couldn't have put it any better, eh? perhaps. I think not winning this competition for a while it is a motivation uh, on its own. I think the boys Lubona they, they are hungry to, to, to win uh, this competition. And if you can look uh, at the cabinet of Mamlu Sanders, I feel like I am 108. So I think uh, this is an, an advantage for us and we should uh, make use of the advantages. But uh, uh, and, and also, uh, what we should do to win this game, I think, uh, first of all, even we, even if you can get an early goal, I don't think a one nil scoreline is still a safe scoreline because if they can bounce back, equalize, and get the, 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 the late winner. So I think we should aim for, for, for two goals and, and kill off the game, manage the game, uh, rotate the ball, like fast break them so that they move out of the position, their positions to look up for the ball. And when they, they throw uh, numbers at us, that's where we, we you expose the, 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 the uh, the, the, the spaces at the back. So we should be disciplined. We should uh, rotate the ball very well. We should do everything right. Like, in terms of the radiator all along since season is, is that we should continue doing them and also uh, 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 taking them to uh, another another, mm-hmm. another level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. True, guys. True. Uh, guys, how do you think Aros will line up? Um... Lineup. Uh, is this lineup? I want to know because I already, I already prepared for our lineup. Okay, so, you will give me. You will give me our lineup. I will give a lineup. The lineup that I think they will use. Ne? Okay. Alright. I think it will be Mlumwana uh, uh, number one, and then back four it will be Dube Zuke. Uh, I don't think they'll go back to Matia at, uh, uh, at the back, so it will be. Uh, Dube, Zuke, CBC, Trele. I think uh, it will be Mdwandu and Lamine in the middle of the park, and then Sbia and Modi on uh, uh, either side, and then Kumete and Mutizo up front. I think that's how they'll set up on on, 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 on Tuesday. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, guys, a bit on sundowns. Ne? Um, Coach Mangoba mentioned uh, Hore Shika. Had, has a quad, a, a, a stiff quad, ne? Uh, but it's nothing serious because he played with it. And but if if, if Utumala, he doesn't feel anything, wabo. So he wasn't substituted because of that, wabo. But do we now take a risk of playing him, or we say, you know what, we have enough depth. Let's bring back Gaston for Shika in this game, or we continue with him and uh, uh, the right back situation. I think we'll. Continue with uh, Grant because uh, Mudau is definitely uh, uh, out uh, 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 of this one. He did say that. Uh, any changes to our lineup, guys? Should we have any changes? Um, I think if Gaston is back, he should start because um, uh, I've, I've been worried about uh, Kemit for a bit. Yeah, well, with regards to the three games. Three three starts he has played. Um, his only he he's a, he's only impressed me once, if I'm being honest. The Arrows game, he really did well, uh, based on the the conditions because it was mm-hmm. not really conducive for him, especially in the first half. You could see even Shadulile had to be taken off that game because he wasn't really effective in the game. Um, but the game against the cake eater, he really played well, Kimi. But I think that when Gaston is back, I think we should have 
that four up front with you can't drop Kutumela at this stage. No, for me, no. you can't. No, because uh, uh, a goal, no, an assist, no, a goal in, in against the uh, the cake eater, then last game assist. So you really can't drop it. So I think I line up this way up front. It's Kutumela, Zwane, Gaston if he's available and Shalou. But if Gaston is not there, then we still keep uh, we can meet up front. But if the issue of Zwane arises again, I think Domingo should slot in for Zwane because I think he did well in his shift against Parrot. So I think there he slots in quite well. Or we can slot in because, uh, like I've mentioned before, that left side of Sundance, uh, it may be problematic because of Modi, the amount of work he does there. So I think maybe we can guard against that. But I, if if anything, like if we don't have any injuries, then that is my that that is my four up front: Kutumela, Serino, Shalili, and Zwan. We wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Speaking of 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 uh, Domingo and Abogas, uh, Rabs, I feel like Domingo has finally settled at Sundowns. He believes or he's a Sundowns player. You know, sometimes players sign for a team and. He at times you 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 are, get to a team with a galaxy of stars and you don't really believe or know, man. I'm good enough to be here, you know. As you might be talented, but uh, getting there, you think, hey, man, you know. But I think now a uh, uh, Domingo believes. You can tell that uh, his confidence, that self, uh, that that. A, a arrogance, you can play, you can see he plays with a bit of arrogance. You can almost, so he has settled uh, more sundowns. Your take on that, Raps? Yeah, no, true. You can see uh, from the things he does on the ball, like he's very calm, he's, he's free, like he, he's, he's just trying to be himself, he's just trying to use his skill. And also, uh, I, I think uh, coming to, to, to memory sundowns, first of all, you have to be aware of the competition. I think you, you have to work hard than you have worked in your whole uh, uh, career or in from uh, in, in from the, the, the previous team. So I think he's slowly getting there. I think with the minutes that he's going to get uh, uh, going uh, on, I think that will de- that will definitely work for him. Mm-hmm. And I think just just to add on that, uh, Rappelé, ma'am, just Domingo, man, uh, there's just something about like Against KD, he has two Kutumela, brilliant, one assist. Uh, in the game against Pirates, he comes in on the left side. I saw him, I saw a, a Domingo that takes on players. I saw a Domingo that takes shots. That is a confident, arrogant Domingo that I want this season. So I think um, we really need to work on that confidence. We really need to give him more game time. He deserves it because he, he put in the work last season. We also especially mm-hmm. at the latter stages of the season when we really saw Domingo coming in again. Also, he's really done the work. He's taking on players, he's taking shots, and it's good for Mamelodi Sundowns because the Mamelodi Sundowns of old, like they, they just want to work their way to the box. Mm-hmm. No, no long shot. Now we have a player that takes shots mm-hmm. from range, and he has, he has the shot, he has the range to get those balls on target. So I think we are really cooking with, with the Domingo. I'm really impressed this season. So, so yeah, I can't wait to see more of him. Mm. To Jens, we have two minutes left. Uh, let's wrap it up. Okay, so please give me your starting lineup. Starting lineup: Onyango, Grant, Rushin, Libusa, Lake, Riva, Jali, Kutume, Lazwane, Gaston, Shali. I think I'll go with uh, the same. I think I'll I'll, I'll go with the same lineup. When I'm up, uh, I'll have the, 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 the same back five as he is. Uh, in the middle field, I'd have a, a Gauthier, I'll have Blesser, and I'll have Domingo. Then front three, I'll have Gaston, Kutumela, and Shalulil. You're resting, you're not playing Jai, the man of the match. Yeah, I'm resting until you Jai. Why? Resting. I, I, look, I think uh, I, I'm just trying to, 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 to rotate the team and try to keep everyone fit. I think, I think this is the worst game. Yeah, no. To do yeah. That because 
it's literally the last game before the final, so yes. I can't take any chances. So I put it down in there. But yeah, I just have to be. Why not? I should give you some support. Hey, Raps, your predictions? I think we'll win a 2 0. Shalulila will score. And Mshishu uh, will score. Secret prediction? Uh, Tunil as well. I think Kutumela. I think I'm, I'm sensing Kutumela goal here. Yeah. Oh, I know he has a really, really clean job. All right. No, uh, I, I, I'm not going to predict. I'm looking forward to the game, but I think we'll win. I think we'll make, to, we'll make the finals and yeah, hopefully we, we don't get any injuries and yeah, that's that, man. That's another installment of the Yellow Corner done. Uh, thank you very much, Sikit, for joining us. Hopefully, we'll see you again in, fu- in the near future. And yeah, Masanda Wana, we'll see you on Thursday or Friday when we preview our game against uh, Nando's FC, uh, the first game of our uh, second game block. Cheers and good luck to the boys. Sharp, sharp, gents. Hola, hola. <laughs>